Hello everyone, Kent Whitaker, Whitaker Leather here. I um, did a video, two videos on the Landis Leather Splitter, and I got an email about it. Not about the splitter, but actually some of the tools that were in the background here. Um, I think it was uh, Joe, Joe CT, Joe CT, uh, J-O-E CT something email. But it was asking me what some of these things were, especially these bright colored things right here but um got some bad weather in the areas and i was trying to get some things finished some harmonica holders a couple of belt slide holsters a colt type of holster for the um shoot the name is leaving me right now but it's got a it's got an extremely long barrel um somebody will post in the comments i'll probably put it in the description but anyway just real quick before the power goes out um some of my uh carbon stuff right here the uh the hand, you know, the, just for carving leather. Some stamps that are like these over here. These are some rivets, magnetic rivet holder, or magnetic tray. I keep some of the rivets in. Um, some uh, little, actually for pottery. But these are little bitty patterns right here that work great on doing small stuff like. Uh, bracelets or thin pieces uh, width wise of leather this good pattern filler right there um, these are for safety's sake leather covered some of the uh, strap end cutters so I've made some little just leftover uh, suede with some Permanent leather glue right there, some or contact cement. I can't remember what I used, but just something to cover the blades, so when I'm reaching down for something, I don't whack my fingers off. But anyway, to the question, uh, Joe CT was asking, "What is this? What are these things right here?" I was curious. Well, let me tell you. Long story short, I'm getting older. And it's harder to grip stuff. I noticed this with guitar playing, stuff like that. But also, I broke this wrist about two years ago, and have some tingling sensation in the end of my fingertips still. It used to be the whole hand, but now it's gone to just the tips. Um, I had to do some shots in my right there, some shots in the um, tendons to release them, but. Y'all know me, if you've seen me, or know me a long time, a lot of people know that this finger sometimes just decides to point the complete other direction until I pop it back in. And it's getting harder to hold stuff as I get older. So anyway, our lovely daughter-in-law, Leah, our son Macy's wife, is a school teacher, as was my mom, and I was introduced once again as an adult to the little cushions that go on uh, crayons for kids and pencils for people learning how to write little sponge guys I'll leave a description or a link in the description for some on Amazon or somewhere but basically you can probably get these at the dollar store or, or somewhere I think that's where I got them but it's not too bad when you're dealing with something that's you know that wide that thickness and I use a head started out with this little guy right here years ago um, then got a bigger one which I, I since lost I don't know what happened to it and then I bought this one uh, a couple years ago and this is a little makes a good impression a lot more heavy a lot heavier than this So this leaves a better impression. But back to the video. With these little tiny thin guys. Like that. Slide one of these bad boys on there. Took a little extra tape. And man it's so much easier. To grip. When you're, when you're, do, when you're working. When you're tooling leather. Especially when you've got something like, like this. And it takes a lot of time. So, 
And I realized this is even wrong. I put our old stamp on it. E.H. Campbell. It got to be a late night. So, I've got to redo this. It's supposed to be the Whitaker leather now. But if you're looking for something to give you a little bit better grip on some of these, man, I'm telling you, a little bit of tape, add one of these grips, and it's a lifesaver. It really is, especially when you do a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I'm also going to do a video soon on using cheap tools as compared to more expensive tools. Because some of the cheap ones you may find online, a great sale, they, they just don't hold up. But that's another video, another story. Um, please, if you're liking this, Allison and I are trying to get the YouTube channel going back a little bit better. So if you like what we're doing or you want some videos, please ask a question, comment. If you're looking for something um, or an answer to something with leatherworking, whether it's uh, clicking some out with a die like this, a, a clicker die, or whether you hand cut something um, or some kind of tool, some crazy fun idea to keep things off your desktop, your workspace. But uh, please like and subscribe and we will be adding more content as fast as we can while we're not working on leather orders because these bad boys all these harmonica holders got to get done and hopefully i get them all sewn before the hopefully the power doesn't go out but kent whitaker whitaker leather uh alice and i thank you for watching like and subscribe if you get a chance thanks